which after the rains we've had, we could use a little bit of a period to dry out. A new wave that has come off of the coast of South Carolina and Georgia now being given a 20% chance of development. Now the system right now, kind of a broad circulation, really actually right near the coast south of Charleston. Cloud cover satellite not really showing anything that's indicating that it's a developing little system. However, look at the radar out of Charleston. There is a clear little swirl right here. Now the Hurricane Center has that invest center a bit uh, more to the west of that, but clearly something trying to get going right along the coastline. If anything does try and form, it's probably going to kind of parallel the coast with one model taking it well offshore. Point is, this is not a threat for us. The only named storm that we have at the moment is Bonnie, and it is just about on the coast of Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Now what's very interesting with this is that it is going to maintain its strength. It'll probably weaken a bit, but still stay a name storm as it crosses over the peninsula. Once it is in the East Pacific, it will still be Bonnie, even though we've already had our B storm in the East Pacific. So it's a crossover storm. Our rain chances dissipating as we head into the holiday weekend. And for most of next week, our rain chances staying on the low side. A few spotty showers here and there, but that does mean our highs get into the lower, maybe some mid 90s here and there, but otherwise not a terrible forecast. I tell you what, for the start of July, nothing out in the tropics threatening us. That is a good forecast.